A couple of months ago, I started experimenting with this Lippert LCI multifunction receiver, and my intention was, and still is, to eventually install this into my RV. And while I was testing it, I came across a couple of peculiarities. This can be used to control your slide out, or lighting, or a combination of those, as well as other functions. And it works along with this remote. And one of the peculiarities that I found is when you go to the light function, if you program a channel to the light, the relays are momentary only. Now momentary is desirable when you have a slide out because you want to push the button down to extend or retract the slide out and then when you let go, the slide out stops. But in lighting, you don't want to have to hold this thing down to keep the lights on. And that's what you'd have to do. So the issue is, how do I get these relays to latch when I want to turn the light on and have it stay on? Well, I don't know how Lippert does it because I don't have a lot of information on this. There is a very scarce amount of technical data. And there may very well be a way to go in and reprogram this to make these relays latch. I don't know. But I can't do that because I don't have the information. So I decided to build my own latch. And so I came up with this latch. And I decided that if I'm going to go to all the trouble, to, why not add a dimming function to it? Because, I mean, that's going to make it a whole lot better than just turning the light on and off. And I call this my super dimmer because I found that not only does it work with this remote receiver, it also works fine by itself. And so I'm going to have a video just on this, on how to build this and use it in a standalone version. And also for the link receiver, I've built this box. And this is a relay controlled output. So you can use this for a light, or you can use it for a motor, or something like that. It has much of the same functionality, except that instead of having a dimmer output, it's just a dry set of relay contacts. And I suppose I could come up with other modules, and if there's enough interest in them, maybe I will. But for now, I'm concentrating on just these two modules. And in a future video, we'll install these in the RV. And as I developed this project, I came to realize I don't really even need the Lippert receiver at all. On Amazon and other places, you can buy these modules that consist of a 15-channel transmitter and 15 individual relay modules. And these relay modules can connect to the dimmer module that I just showed you, and each one can be independently controlled. And not only is there a 15 relay version, there's a 6 relay version, a 4 relay, and a 1 relay version. So in reality, you don't even need the Lippert system at all. However, in the end, the Lippert system also controls my ground control leveling system, and it would be pretty hard to get this thing to work with the levelers, so I probably will still continue on with the Lippert receiver. It's just that this would be a good alternative. So if you don't have a leveling system, or if you don't need to remote control your leveling system, you can make two or three of those dimmer modules, or how many you need to control all of your lights, and buy one of these systems, and you could have your own custom built remote control system. So the dimmer that I'm making, the possibilities are almost endless. There should be a link that you can click here to go to the next video, which includes demoing the Super RV LED dimmer.